Chapter 2, Part A. Description and Preparation of the ACAM 2000 Smallpox Vaccine with Dr. Brett Peterson. In Chapter 2 of this training video, we will describe and discuss the preparation of ACAM 2000 using the diluent provided and the technique used to administer the vaccine called the multiple puncture vaccination technique, often referred to as scarification. We will also describe how to determine a su successful response to smallpox vaccination or a vaccine take. ACAM 2000 is provided as a lyophilized preparation of purified live vaccine virus and has trace amounts of neomycin and polymyxin B. The diluent provided for reconstitution of ACAM 2000 contains glycerin and phenol in water. The ACAM 2000 vaccine is stored frozen until distribution. Once distributed, unopened ACAM 2000 vials may be stored refrigerated at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius or 36 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit for up to 18 months. These are the supplies necessary for vaccine preparation and administration. A vial of ACAM 2000, diluent for reconstitution, syringes with needles for reconstitution, and bifurcated vaccinating needles for vaccine administration. Additionally, you will need alcohol swabs, gloves, dry gauzes, medical first aid adhesive tape, and leak-proof, puncture-proof biohazard container and biohazard sharps container. Of note, paper tape, although a less adhesive, should be made available to persons with high sensitivity to cloth tape. As a vaccine administrator, you should be aware of the following general information. During a smallpox emergency, you should consider being vaccinated yourself because of your high risk of inadvertent exposure to vaccinia virus. In a pre-event situation, ACAM 2000 vaccination should be offered to you unless you have a contraindication to vaccination. You should wear surgical or protective gloves when preparing and administering ACAM 2000. It is important to wash your hands and change gloves between patients to avoid spread of the virus to yourself and or your patient. Additionally, avoid contact of ACAM 2000 to your skin, eyes, and mucous membranes. If you have been recently vaccinated with ACAM 2000, then you will need to take extra precautions to cover the active vaccination site with an additional semi-permeable dressing while working with patients until the scab falls off. If you are at high risk for serious adverse events from a replication-competent smallpox vaccine, then you should not handle or administer the ACAM 2000 vaccine. Before administering ACAM 2000, proper reconstitution of ACAM 2000 with the provided diluent is important to successful vaccination. It is important that you follow these instructions carefully. The ACAM 2000 vaccine vial should be removed from cold storage and brought to room temperature, 20 to 25 degrees Celsius or 68 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit before reconstitution. The diluent provided for reconstitution is maintained at room temperature and is ready for immediate use. Don gloves then remove the flip cap seals from the vaccine and diluent vials. Wipe each rubber stopper with an alcohol swab and allow the stoppers to dry completely. Using aseptic technique and a sterile one millimeter syringe fitted with a 25 by 5 8 inch gauge needle Draw up 0.3 milliliters of diluent and transfer the entire content of the syringe to the vaccine vial. Note that the diluent vial will contain more diluent than needed. Only use 0.3 milliliters of diluent to reconstitute the vaccine. Gently swirl to mix, but try not to get the product on the rubber stopper. The reconstituted vaccine should be a clear to slightly hazy colorless to straw colored liquid and free from extraneous matter. Visually inspect the reconstituted vaccine for particulate matter and discoloration prior to administration. If particulate matter or discoloration is observed, do not use the vaccine and safely dispose of the vial as a biohazardous material. Record the date the vaccine was reconstituted. Once reconstituted, the ACAM 2000 vaccine vial has approximately 100 doses of 0.0025 milliliters of live vaccine virus containing 2.5 to 12.5 times 10 to the fifth plaque forming units per dose. After reconstitution, the vaccine must be administered within eight hours if kept at room temperature throughout the workday 
and then discard it appropriately. If not used immediately after reconstitution, store reconstituted vaccine refrigerated until ready for administration. Reconstituted vaccine may be stored refrigerated at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius or 36 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit for up to 30 days. The expiration date of reconstituted vaccine begins on the date that the vaccine was mixed. Reconstituted vaccine may be returned to refrigerated storage for future use if it has been exposed to room temperature conditions for less than eight hours at a time. This cycle can be repeated for as many times as is practical, so long as it is within the 30 days of the reconstituted date. After 30 days or after the expiration date, you can discard the vaccine vial in a biohazard sharps container. If your facility has a biohazard program in place or autoclave or incinerate the vials, please follow your local or state regulation for medical waste. If medical wastes are buried, then it should be soaked in a one to 10 dilution of bleach for at least 10 minutes prior to disposal.